I have some interesting information on how much alcohol you would have to drink before you develop liver damage. Now in high school, I drank some alcohol in college. And then even after college, I continued to drink and experience many of those um, what we call hangovers. And I even remember in my late twenties, um, they had these, I don't know what they were called, but they were like little 7-Eleven stores around town and you can buy a margarita to go. And so of course I would get myself and Karen a margarita, drive home after work, and then get in this routine of drinking at least one or two of those each night for about six months. That probably was the thing that pushed me over the edge because you're combining alcohol with sugar. And I noticed my back was very stiff. My hands were arthritic. I had complete fatigue. I had bloodshot eyes. And of course I was doing what I thought was healthy at the time, which now I know was not very healthy. But I had a very low awareness of health at the time. In fact, I had zero attention on creating a healthy body. But of course, I was able to get away with it for so many years until eventually it caught up with me. But here's the data on alcohol. In one study, just 21 binge sessions produced early stage liver disease. Now, when I'm talking about binge drinking sessions, I'm talking about more than five drinks within a two hour period. And when I'm talking about a drink, uh, let me define a drink. That is 0.6 ounces of pure alcohol, which would be equivalent to a can of beer, eight ounce malt liquor, or a five ounce wine, or a 1.5 ounce shot of liquor. So if you did five of those 21 times in a row, that could potentially push you right into an early stage liver disease. And they also found that just one session of binge drinking increases your liver enzymes. Now, what happens when you drink um, is that about 25% of that alcohol uh, gets absorbed in your stomach into the bloodstream. And then the rest gets absorbed in your small intestine. Now, as it goes through the bloodstream, it goes through your liver. And your liver now is gonna break it down and deal with this toxic material. And in this process of the stages of breakdown of alcohol, um, the first stage is pretty toxic to your liver cells. That's where you're going to get inflammation. And eventually you're going to be getting scar tissue. That's called cirrhosis. But on average, when you drink just one drink, it takes about an hour with all the different enzymes in your liver to break it down into a uh, less toxic material. But what happens over time when you continue to do this is you start to lose the enzyme network that breaks down this toxic material. And then the toxic material builds up and it creates a lot of damage within your liver, your pancreas, et cetera. What initially happens first is that you start developing fat in your liver. And then that fat can create inflammation, which can then lead to scar tissue. And also the fat can create insulin resistance, which can now increase inflammation. So it's kind of a, a never ending cycle. Now, as far as inflammation in the liver, okay, it's called hepatitis. That usually starts within five years of heavy drinking on a regular basis. Now, as far as cirrhosis or scar tissue, that usually takes between five to 10 or more years because if we keep that liver in a constant state of inflammation, the body's gonna start healing with scar tissue because we also now have the immune system involved. But what's interesting is that this whole period of time, you don't have many symptoms. You might have some fatigue. You might look down and see your belly but not necessarily all the time because you also could have skinny fat where it's throughout the organs. But it definitely, if your belly is sticking out, that usually means that your liver is fatty. Now there also is a condition called ascites, which is not necessarily fat, but it's a protruded belly because your liver is so bad, it's leaking fluid into a sac around your stomach. So that situation is a fluid filled sac in your gut because your liver is very, very sick. That's a very advanced stage of liver disease. And then as things progress, then you start developing more and more symptoms. Arthritis would be one. Itching through the body, especially in the bottom of your feet. You may have jaundice, yellowness around your eyes or your skin. You may have a spike in estrogen and a lowering of your testosterone and start developing man boobs, things like that but you're definitely gonna feel lethargic, kind of tired. You might have bad breath, a loss of muscle, but other than that, you'll be perfectly fine. Now there's some other variables that affect um, how alcohol affects your liver. 
Uh, number one, um, the concentration of alcohol that you're drinking. So you have diluted drinks or you have more concentrated or stronger alcohol. So we have the concentration. If it's carbonated or not, apparently carbonation increases the uh, negative effect on your liver. Then you have, if you're consuming any food with that alcohol, the food buffers the negative effect of alcohol on your liver. But what happens is you have a tremendous amount of oxidation in the liver and you're getting a lot of free radical damage and the ability to counter that with all these enzymes becomes less and less and less. And then we lose the liver function and now we can't detoxify and now we can't digest like we should. And there's DNA damage and even risk of liver uh, cancer. But people with cirrhosis used to be diagnosed maybe in the 40s or 50s or 60s, but nowadays it's younger and younger. 25 year olds are now being diagnosed with cirrhosis. In fact, between 1999 and 2016, the deaths from cirrhosis have increased by 65%. So more and more younger people are, are drinking and experiencing the negative effects from that. Now, there's a couple other things that you need to know about liver damage. Consuming sugar, okay, has roughly about the same effect as consuming alcohol, especially if you're drinking fructose, as in high fructose, corn syrup. So just because someone's not drinking alcohol doesn't mean they can end up with any type of problem with the liver. And that is called a non-alcoholic liver disease. Also, um, a lot of the medications that people take also cause a lot of liver damage. So I would say, number one, alcohol, sugar, medications are the top three things that can destroy the liver as well as viruses. So if you decide to drink a lot and become an alcoholic, it's very, very important to eat healthy at the same time to minimize the damage that's gonna occur on your liver. And I'm being a little funny here because usually if someone is drinking a lot of alcohol, they're, they're probably on a high sugar diet at the same time. Now, the good news about the liver is that it is the only organ that can completely 100% regenerate if you stop doing the things that are causing the destruction. In fact, if you have a fatty liver, you can remove 50% of that fat from the liver just within two weeks of avoiding those things that cause the fat. However, there's going to be a point of no return where you've developed so much scar tissue that it's going to be irreversible. So hopefully you're not in that situation yet. But if you want to know how to reverse the liver damage and turn things around, this is the video you need to watch next. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.